Alrighty, what's going on YouTube? Psych here, bringing you guys a quick little update video. Um, as you guys know, uh, you probably saw on Twitter, I have been released from Soar Gaming. Um, I'm just going to go into depth of how stupid this is really, and uh, just how fraudulent people can be in this gaming community. Um, so basically, Sunday afternoon was the 2K series for Black Ops. Um, we ended up playing that. We played a few good teams. We played a random team and then two random teams. And then we ended up playing TK and we took down them. And then we beat VVV and we played Curse LV in semifinals and we lost to them. We ended up getting third place in the uh, 2K series, first Black Ops 2 tournament. We were pretty excited. Well, let me go into a little detail here. Um, you know, I played out of my mind. I streamed the whole entire tournament. If it wasn't for me, we'd probably have been out of the tournament a lot longer. But besides the fact, yeah, we ended up getting third place in that. Monday rolls around, and uh, it was Monday morning, which is yesterday, and uh, I went to school. You know, my normal people go to school every single day. I went to school. I came home. <clears throat> Actually, I went to school, and uh, my basketball practice got pushed back one hour. So I uh, got pushed back. I went after school. I got, went and got some food. I came back to school. Uh, I had my basketball practice for two hours. I got home at... 6.30 my time, which is 6.30 uh, Central Time, 7.30 Eastern, uh, normal time, you know, most pro teams scrim. Uh, I also had weight training that day, so I was pretty tired, you know, four hours of working out, it gets pretty tiring. I texted my team, and uh, I said, what time are we playing? And they told me that the servers were down and that they were in the 2v2 ICN, uh, Saint and Methods were in that tournament. So I was like, oh, okay, guys, well, I'm really tired, I may crash. Well, I ended up falling asleep, and... Uh, I fell asleep and we didn't play Monday night. So this is only one day after the tournament. Last night, Tuesday, my basketball practice was still pushed back an hour because little kids had to practice in the gym or something like that. And uh, I ended up getting home around uh, 6.30 my time again. So 7.30 their time. They, uh, I was on. I turned on my Xbox and uh, I was sitting there waiting. And Methods was freaking out on Garrett, which is Heist. He was freaking out on him, telling him how undedicated he was. And uh, basically telling him, you know, he hasn't been grinding. The funny thing about this whole thing is Garrett apologized and he said he's okay. We got on the game and we scrummed a little. And I told him I had to get off because I had I have a college class that I'm taking and I had to do homework for that. I scrummed one whole series and then I told him I had to go. The funny thing about this whole thing is I've been playing out on my mind recently. Last night I played a little. I didn't play too hot, but just in scrims or whatever. But Garrett Heist, he doesn't even know what he's doing. He doesn't know where he's pushing, what he's doing. He's the most undedicated one that was on the team. And the funny thing is I end up getting the punishment for this. So long story short, Sunday we would have been out of the tournament if it wasn't for me. And yeah. So anyways, this morning, or last, uh, I checked Twitter this morning when I woke up uh, after I did my homework last night. I checked, I went to bed and I woke up and I checked my Twitter and I saw on Methods Twitter that I said time for a change or something. I sent them a text message asking them what time they wanted to play today. Uh, and I could be on whenever. And actually, I think I still may have to check text messages real fast. Let me check this. Um, I just want to give you guys the full facts here. So if they do watch this video, they'll understand. Um, I text them and he ended up texting me saying, We decided to re release you from the team. We feel like you hate this game and you don't enjoy it at all. You were always negative when we play, and I get mad because you're never on. Good luck, man. Please send uh, – that part doesn't matter. Long story short, he told me that I'm never on, but I wasn't on one day since the games came out, which is yesterday, and they were in a 2v2 ICN tournament. But I've been on every other day prior to that, so that's false right there. Um, I told him that I was on, and I told him to give me another chance. He said, I'm sorry, man. We made our decision. I know I love you. Whatever. Blah, blah, blah. All this BS. Um so pretty much I told him, you know, I can be on every single day to Columbus. I'm going to be your best fit for this team. And basically he told me a bunch of BS. And uh, this is why exactly why you do not let uh, little kids run organizations because they think you can just pick up and drop players. And this is completely why uh, just the esports scene, like Call of Duty in general, will go nowhere with little kids running organizations. Um, so, yeah, guys, it was just a big – just a bunch of BS, and uh, it kind of makes you frustrated. Now I'm going to talk a little bit about my future and what my plan is. Um, you know, it's really hard getting dropped from a team uh, after you've put in time and effort and considering they wouldn't have gotten third place in the 2K if it wasn't for me. You know, I streamed the whole entire thing. So, I mean, it's really frustrating getting dropped in two teams since Black Ops 2 in this game. 
Um, as my plan, I don't know. I mean, everyone thinks my schedule's so bad in the community, but my schedule isn't bad at all. People just uh, people just assume stuff, and that's apparently why I got dropped. So I don't know if I want to continue playing. Uh, I honestly don't. Guys, I mean, I love you guys to death, and I thank you for all the support that you guys have been giving me, but I just don't know what I truly want to do. So, I mean, unless an insane offer comes out there, uh, I don't know what to think. But, uh, yeah, I guess I'm just waiting for that team that will, uh, you know, really put me as the home. It's a team that I can enjoy being around and enjoy playing with and have fun inside the game and outside the game because that's really what this should be is, you know, not just playing Call of Duty and being good at it, but enjoying your teammates and having fun with them. And I guess I didn't mix with Sore or something like that. I don't know. It's pretty stupid, guys. I just want to give you guys a heads up uh, to let you know how fraudulent they were and just how false all their statements were. So, yeah, guys, as of now, I'm a free agent. If I decide to continue to play, uh, top teams hit me up and let me know. As always, guys, follow the stream. Or, I mean, <laughs> follow uh, my YouTube, subscribe to it, whatever, and comment below. And uh, thanks for all the support. But I'm out of here, and I don't know when I'll be back. Peace.